What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install and use Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future tutorials. Gamers, there are a lot of mods out there. Some are more complicated than others. But if you've seen some of our previous tutorials, then you know that I'm a big fan of simple furniture type mods. I said it in the DecoCraft video, and I'll say it again. Stairs don't make for very good couches. There has to be something more than the basic stuff, right? Introducing Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. Today we're going over how to install this mod and some features it comes with. But before we get into it, you need to know that you can find any links you may need in the description below. Just check under useful links and the ones that I reference in this video will be right down there. Well, let's jump into it. Before you download any mods, the first thing that you'll need to download is the thing that runs the mods, Forge. Head into the description below to find the tutorial on how to install Forge and come back here when you're done. To download CFM, you're first going to want to Google Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod in your browser. One of the first few options that should appear is the CurseForge page for that mod. Make sure you select that. In the new page, you're going to select Files next to the description. When that loads, you're going to scroll down to the Recent Files section, and on the right hand side, click View All. In the new New page, it'll say All Files. On the right hand side of that, you're going to click the drop down bar that says All Versions. Select the version of your choice. I'll be choosing 1.16.5 because that's my preferred game version. Select the download button under Actions, and the download should begin. From here we'll move on. To install it on your client, you're first going to want to open up your Minecraft launcher and click the Installations tab. Under this new tab, you'll highlight the Forge profile that you've just installed, and you're going to select the Folder button next to the Play button. In the folder that just loaded up, you're going to click and drag the mod file that we just downloaded, and it'll get installed into Minecraft's mod folder. Now, just head back into the launcher, make sure you're running the correct game version. Again, for me, this will be 1.16.5, and everything should be good to go. To install it on your server, you're first going to want to open up your Apex panel and stop the server with the red stop button. From here, you're going to scroll down to the game file field and in the drop down bar you're going to search up the forge version for whatever game type you want to run again i'm running 1.16.5 so that's the one i'll be selecting in the pop-up select change version since we are switching to a different game version it's recommended that you create a new world otherwise you run the risk of corrupting the server and the world finally you'll select restart now to make sure that we have the proper files for this next part so, once the server is reset, you actually want to stop it one more time. Head to the left hand side where you see FTP file access, and then log in. From here you're going to enter the mods folder, which should be about in the middle there. And inside this new page, you're going to go to the left hand side where you see upload. In this new page, you're going to drag and drop the jar file for our download into the add files section. Once it's at 100%, you can head back to the main page of your panel by clicking the name of your server at the top and either start or restart your server to get the changes fixed. Let's get started with the mod. If you're playing in creative, you can have tons of fun right away. When you're in the creative menu, you can check out some of the different types of blocks that come with this mod. First, we can see the bedroom. This comes with some cool storage units and some really cool looking tables. Of course, then there's the kitchen, which is probably my favorite spot because I love to cook. You have a bunch of cool counter space, cool drawers, and even some pretty unique looking sinks from this mod. Now, of course, you don't want to just show off the inside of your house. You also want to show off the outside. What better way to show off the outside than with a trampoline that bounces you higher the bigger it is. That's the best part of this mod. There are tons of other options as well, but it's all up to you once you get this installed. 
Now let's cover a common issue. The first one is, if your server is stuck loading, all you need to do is head into your Apex panel, and while it's stuck, you go into your console and type in slash FML confirm. This will run something on our end with the Forge mod loader, and after a few minutes, it should be all settled. The next common issue is kind of grouped together. Essentially, this is a version mismatch. If I'm running 1.16.5 for my mod, but I try to run the Forge profile of 1.12.2, those mods are not compatible. The 1.16.5 version won't work on the 1.12.2 game. So just make sure everything's matching properly and you should be good to go. Well, that was a pretty simple guide, gamers, but a fun one nonetheless. Now you know how to install this mod and some of the things that it comes with. Whether you want to get super intricate with your builds or keep it nice and clean, this is a great decoration mod that will really spruce up your world. Well, that'll just about do it. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.